I'm Katie Lee. I'm the voice of many characters, including Connie Kendall in Adventures in Odyssey, Hucker Buttlefoot in Darkwing Duck, Zuzu in Poppy Cat, Baby Rolf in The Muppet Babies, Sunny Gummy in The Gummy Bears, and many more characters. And hi, I'm Will Ryan. I voice many characters too, including Petrie in The Land Before Time, Eugene Meltzner in Adventures in Odyssey, Big Lake Pete in a bunch of stuff, the Willie the Giant, and many of Dookie's ogres in Gummy Bears. You're watching In Conversation with Amber the Fangirl. The Amber the Fangirl? Oh, you mean ATF. That <laughs> spells... <sighs> yes, grab some gummy berry juice and enjoy. Okie dokie, Dookie. I'm not Dookie. Doi. Hi, guys. My name's Amber. Welcome back to another episode of In Conversation with ATF. Um, yes, one of those fancy jingles you probably won't hear on the television anytime soon. Or if you couldn't tell already, my name's Amber. I do voice actors in this series. And today I'm speaking to not one, but two of them. Now, these two are best of friends, man. They run a podcast together called Tell You Later. One of them is a voice actress who has had over... 30 years, in, was it 30? Yeah, 30. 30 years in the business playing Sonny Gummy in Gummy Bears, Honka Muddlefoot in Darkwing Duck, Connie Kendall in Adventures in Odyssey, and Baby Rolf in The Muppet Babies, and lots, lots, lots more. And my second guest is a voice actor who was known for playing Barnaby in Dumbo Circus, a lot of Duke Igthorn's ogres in Adventures of the Gummy Bears, Petri in The Land Before Time, and also, if I just share with me one second, because my, my memory is so bad, I can't. Uh, I had this one role in mind that I literally just can't remember off by heart. Um, I'll just read that. I'll probably cut this out. Oh, no. What about the, Will what about she the... get it? Will she find it? The voice of Michael Eisner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, and also Michael Eisner. And many other gangsters. And uh, where is it? Oh. while you're looking it up, we actually are doing a show a patreon supported show that yeah you can hear the audio as a podcast but it's a, a show on youtube yeah eugene Melpsner in adventures of an odyssey All our right. guests are will ryan and katie lee right best duo <laughs> thank you so much for letting me thanks interview for you having us yeah we're coming to you all the way from uh southern california Home of Tell Brian us. Wilson and the Beach Boys, birthplace of, I should say. So we wore these. <laughs> yeah, so we Aww, dressed appropriately. I like them. They're really nice. I'm coming from cloudy England where it looks like it's going to rain. It's, it's so sunny right now, but there's just really dark rain clouds and mm. it rains here every day. <laughs> so there's not really much entertaining about my town, but yeah, I guess I'll just have to live with it. Well, we've got now. sunny gummy here, so, it, you know. Yeah, maybe I can have some sunshine. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope you can, Sonny, obviously. I, I need it at the moment. I'm going through a tough time at the moment right now. Oh, 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 let's just shine. You made the mistake of reading the paper Woo, this morning. That's so <laughs> from, you look great. Yes. Thank you. you look marvelous. You need Thank a fabulous you. smile. And the wings of the chair behind you give uh, an almost uh, Mickey Mouse oh. interpretation of what I'm seeing. Okay. seeing. Mm. Yeah, you're right, actually. I need a new chair, to be fair. I've had this for about two, three years. I don't know, but yeah. Hopefully I'll get a new one soon. Anyways, thank you so much for letting me talk to you guys. You guys are the absolute sweetest. I've talked to you before, obviously, for my Bill Scott documentary, but I've never properly actually talk to you about your careers and stuff so i'd love to know how did each of you get started in the industry because i think you both got started in the 80s i know casey did what about you will um did you say in the 80s yeah did you get started in the 80s 1980s. or did you get started? the 19 oh, oh the 1980s yes I thought you meant the 1880s i just, I just in a way i got started in the 1880s uh elmo Ardbark goes back to 1889 according to many published reports that reminds and, me somebody on the tell you later uh uh patron asked who is this elmo aardvark oh yeah well elmo aardvark is uh america's original animated star and and uh he's created by terwilliger ryan which many published accounts say is my grandfather but i believe it's my great grandfather actually and uh so but that's we're not here to talk about that uh, I, um, when did I get started? Depends on what we mean by started, but I did my first work for Disney's in 1979, I guess. And we did uh, a few albums, worked with Clarence Nash, the orig uh, original voice of Donald Duck mm -hmm. and uh, on those and uh, wrote songs for Mickey, Donald and Goofy and 
other characters. And um, yeah, so that's that's the short version. He's way more interesting than me. Oh. And and did record albums too for the Disney uh, Disneyland records, and did some characters. I on actually that. bought one of those albums for my son when my son was born, and I it was after we had been working on Dumbo Circus together. I did mm -hmm. Dumbo's voice, and he did Barnaby uh, the dog, and. Um, Anyway, so I'm listening to this a Disney album, and there's this one, because a lot of them were, um, and I, I have the cassette still. Oh, I do. Uh -huh. I'll just have to show it to you. Great. And it was songs from Disney movies and Disney shows, but at the very, very end, they tagged on this show, this song called uh, With Apologies to Mother Goose. Oh, and yeah. every time we'd sing it, and I'd like it, i think, that sure, and it wasn't Will's voice. But I, this sure sounds like a Will Ryan song. And finally, I asked him, do you have anything to do with this song? He's, oh, yeah, I wrote that song. And they had somebody else record it and put it on that album. Hmm. So cool. Oh. And Katie recognized my songwriting style because I was writing songs so for, for the Dumbo <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I interrupted a punchline. I, I did the setup and, without realizing it. No, but he Will's so clever with words and turns and things and songs. And I'm... and sort of maybe the key sometimes you write in anyway the, the 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 tone of the song and the style of the song just sounded so much like something he would write and yes, i was right i'm well known for writing in the key of b musicians love that do you know the other thing i was i i did my my amateur sleuthing when it comes to singing no nancy do tell me i will tell you uh -huh. so when we were watching the lion king is that lion with an apostrophe no oh okay Okay, so, you know, when that came out and the Hakuna Matata, yeah, and I yeah. kept thinking, that, that style of singing reminds me so much of Jim Cummings. So I asked him, you know, that's the, they're singing, it sounds like you. He goes, well, I laid down the scratch track for that. And they copied me to sing that song. So see, I'm, I do pay attention, even though it doesn't look like I am. Wow. Paying attention, I, that is. <clears throat> If you ever see The Adventures of Santa Claus on CBS, which runs every year in the, in the States, it's Ed Asner as Santa Claus. Nice Jewish boy. And oh. uh, <laughs> see what you think of his singing. Ah, that, I bet that's you. No, I did the guide track for him. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh. I did the rough Wow. Track. I was thinking of interviewing Ed, actually, because one of my friends oh. told me he's a great autism ambassador because one of his kids has autism. So yes, he runs a whole, school. there's a school, like a camp yeah. in the valley. And yeah, he's, he, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, he did, he did a Galaxy Con thing. So I was like, it could be possible. But yeah, I could interview him. And Pat Fraley's best friends with him. So you could totally. Yeah. Him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That would be and great. The same representative we have represents celeb the works. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, celeb works. I, yeah, Neri, I've I've spoken with him multiple times. He's helped me get a lot of people for the Bill Scott Country and obviously helped me to book interviews. He's helped me to get to um this guy he represents called Kellen Goff. He's a uh, no, he's yeah, he's an autistic voice actor. He has Asperger's, so like he's a perfect candidate for me to interview. So yeah, he's meeting him and uh, yeah, just you could Neri's probably just, have five years worth of recording of <laughs> autistic voice actors oh bless which i could just uh, I'd, I'd get billy west i'd get Corey burton again yeah i miss Corey. i haven't heard from him since like last year so yeah mm. well he'll come he'll, he'll come back one day so just wait until then <laughs> so i just wanted to say again thank you for letting me interview you two obviously you have such spell spellbinding spellbound Great Chris. <laughs> so <I'm> spellbound. <laughs> no, that was Cary Grant. No, I actually like spelling a lot. Oh yeah, pretty good spellers. Yeah, mm -hmm. Will might be a little bit better speller than me. Well, I'm not as good as Elwood W. Delwood. No, Elwood W. Delwood's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever met him? It's something like this. Uh, hello, what's your name, sir? Elwood W. Delwood. Elwood W. Delwood. Yes, and I can spell it. Really, can you? Yes. E double L W double O D W D E double L W double O D. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> so, how long have you known each other for then? Uh, All two day. Weeks. <laughs> uh, two weeks. So you're, so you're relatively new then. <laughs> right. A long, long time. Yep. Almost oh. uh, 40 years. Hey, I'm going to cough for a second. <laughs> oh. That's fine. You know, uh, we've been doing, uh, um, we've, we've worked on a number of series that have lasted a long time. For example, yeah. Dumbo Circus 
And for those of you who are wondering, yes, Dumbo does talk. Um, uh, well, that's our show for today, boys and girls. Yeah. I hope you liked it. <laughs> and um, uh, that lasted, I think, 16 or 17 years on the Disney Channel in the States. And uh, other shows uh, have lasted a, a great number of years. Well, it also would have lasted that long for those with pirated satellite, right? I suppose yeah. it would have, yes. <laughs> and um, you've heard of pirate radio, get ready for pirate television. Right? Yeah, pirate yeah. YouTube. So, so, uh, <laughs> You want to try to shut down her site? No. <laughs> you, I you think it's all no. Yo ho, yo ho, yo tube. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yo, look at just tube. Yeah. Yo oh, tube. But, yo tube. But, but this one series we've been on for thirty. We're in our thirty-fourth year. Almost. Yes. Yeah, which is we, uh, we've been doing Adventures in Odyssey over five during five decades. Isn't that crazy? Which is crazy. Crazy. It's insane. It's nuts. It's out of its mind. Wow. Who knew? Hmm. Yeah. No, we've known each other a long time. As a matter of fact, if people see the cover of our book, we wrote a book called Adventures in Oddity. And uh, I'll show you a picture. So That's the new version of this it. This is our new 50, version. with the, 58 more pages in with it. With the bonus. I don't know if you know about this book, but Will did all the drawings. There's really cool little cartoons in here. There's some pictures of us and our, wow. look at how young we were. What yep. year was that? That was taken by a stewardess. Uh, 1986, it says. We wow. were going to Colorado. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff. But we just did a new version of- nonsense in here, yeah. Um, but what I want to say, I'll let you finish. We did a new version, we'll, we'll tell you, but that picture of us was taken uh, during the Dumbo Circus era and I needed some pictures to do commercials and I asked Will to pose with me and it actually very much looks like the characters we portray on Adventures in Odyssey. Which didn't start for another year or two. Oh yeah, yeah. before, yeah. after all three. that. So what were you going to say about our book? Yeah, I, I play say, Connie, he plays Eugene. This is, of the many products we have out there, this is one of the few that people can actually get <laughs> on uh, Amazon? They can, or yeah. they can order an autographed copy through my website, katielee.com. L-E-I-G-H spells Lee. Mm -hmm. K-A-T-I-E yeah. spells Katie. They can figure it out. She's going to she's gonna put her name somewhere. But you've got five letters in each of your names. That's true. And so I, I, and I feel I have as well. A-M-B-E-R-G-I-O-N-E-S. <laughs> Wow. How about that? You guys, um, it's uh, like the planets are aligned. In Twins. Some... We have more <laughs> letters in way. our name than Will does. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Right. Will, what's on your shirt? What characters are on your shirt? I quite like that. Oh, it's, um, I don't know. It's I thought it was Scooby Doo at first. Dogs, canines. A variety of dogs. Yes. It's a ah. canine shirt. It's a cartoon shirt. I never wore it until we started. Uh, I got it. But, I don't know, 20 years ago or something. My shirt kind of matches the orange in there, so I wanted to blend in. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I don't want to be taken for a dog. I never wore the shirt until we started uh, the Tell You Later uh, Patreon-supported show that we do every week. There's a new episode. And mm -hmm. uh, so I wear that on the show. And then for um, uh, Patreon supporters of a higher level, we uh, we do other shows as well, and sometimes I wear it on one of those shows too. But we have other costumes we wear for, and other characters we do for the other show. We haven't done this one yet. We have not. Somebody no. record this. I'm, I, I probably am going to do this one day. Oh, this boy. Yeah. So we do many many other different types of segments for the other tiers, but uh, mm -hmm. the very basic one you this find cool. you find on the YouTube. And it, of course, that has advertising. So our patrons get it without advertising. Absolutely. <laughs> you agree? Absolutely. <laughs> He's trying to get more syllables in than I no, am saying. No, no more syllables. <laughs> Just more absolutely. Is. You have a marbles in your house? <sighs> oh, no, don't speak my way. Okay. You show me the letter H, what do you expect? <laughs> you remind me of Boris and Natasha from Rocky and Bowie. No, nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they're Russian spies. They're not German. Can I do Boris's? You know, um, I did it with Bill and um, 
June. Spill uh, Scott for those who are watching. <laughs> Scott and yeah. June Foray. Yeah, at some live event, you know. But what do you have there, Boris? Um, and I did it for June. We were doing some demo a few years ago. Yeah. Uh -huh. Actually, June appeared on one of the Elmo Aardvark uh, episodes, right? Or oh, on many album. of them. On many of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. June Foray, we're speaking of, mm -hmm. who's uh, uh, probably the actress Actually. with more credits than anyone. Boy, Sam. Um, yeah. Uh, in the history of Hollywood, I mean. Oh, just regular actress, period. Yeah. Are we not going to get make available somehow the Elmo Aardvark series? We're going to try to get it through our show so people can can watch it. Yes, yeah, we'll, it's we'll a, probably do that. It's and, a national treasure. And and there are a lot of Elmo Aardvark CDs which are mostly unavailable now. And Comic we'll, book. We'll have those. And yeah, we're, actually, we're, we've only been doing this show for I think the fifteenth, fifteenth uh, episode. Fifteenth episode was which is actually at about the time the 16th. of this recording. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we're using a lot of music. All original music. Will's music is in our Tell You Later show, and hopefully we'll be able to tell you later where to purchase it. But uh, yeah, because we have his got many many CDs. Yes, that, we have access to my. We have access catalog. to it. Yes. Right. Right. So we've which got is, great yeah. music from the Elmo Aardvark. Which is many Elmo Aardvark CDs and many CDs Cactus of County. Will Ryan and the Cactus County Cowboys, which is a terrific group. And Will Ryan and the Cactus County Cowgirls. Clarification: Will is an excellent musician. I've seen him play guitar before. Amazing. Wow. Well, yeah, thank you. he's great. The band is even better. I have to say. He yeah, writes he's a good one song with every every I think half every hour. Every time one is needed. <laughs> every time. One is, sometimes he writes them accidentally. That's true. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to gummy bears, if you don't mind. Sure. Now, now I'd love to. Move smooth on or move or move on smooth smooth let's bounce smooth, on <laughs> move on i hear these homophonic ambiguities all the time that nobody else hears so oh that's cool on. i think he needs to clean out his ears no no it's, it's it makes life more fun Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> here's <the> confetti <laughs> here tear this up and make confetti oh, oh on to the gummy bears yes, okay the gummy, gummy bears, bears. Gummy Dude, yeah. catch me a gummy bear yeah, me catch gummy bear too. <gasps> nah, and I will go catch another gummy bear. That makes for a grand total of uh, one, uh, more than one, uh, and <laughs> even more than that one. Cubby, quick! Let's run! The ogres are coming! <laughs> Yay! End of scene. 15 year old me is literally shaking in her shoes right now. <laughs> uh, I would have all right. this. I just want to pet 15 year old you. Uh, <laughs> I was I was much more small than I was. I was obsessed with gummy bears this afternoon. Obsessed with gummy bears? Amber, yeah. there's no such thing as gummy bears. Did you know he, like like Cavan. Cavan. he was Cavan's voice too? No, I mean, sorry. Unwin. The other guys. Oh, Unwin of Gummy. Unwin. Yeah. Unwin. He was only in a few episodes, I think, so I only remember seeing him once. He came around he's, every he's once in, in a while. in the first two episodes, and then in the next five episodes, uh, ep I shouldn't say episodes, first two seasons, and then in the next five seasons, he might be in one or two episodes. Yeah. <laughs> he was, he was the, unreliable. Yeah. But the uh, the ogres grew in interest and, uh, and size. appeal, I think, and size. <laughs> That's right. It's like King Kong. Sometimes he's really large, and then sometimes he's not so large. Yeah. Depending on what was needed. That's for the so scene. great to know that we could entertain people all the way on the other side of the world, no matter what their size. Exactly. Definitely. I like agree. Jimmy Carter. Did you have a question? Oh <laughs> yeah, we we. we, we, we <laughs> It was, I was just going to say, I mean, you worked with such an amazing cast. You had Lorenzo Music, Jim Frey, Bill Scott, Paul Winchell, um, Corey Burson then came along. What was it like to work with all these people? How did you get the job? Did you just audition? Did your agents come to you? We paid or? a lot of money. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that show, I don't know if it was the same for you, but it's the most ridiculous and inept bunch of auditions they they auditioned for that show and the other show that they were putting together, because th this is D Disney's first foray, if you'll pardon the expression, into, <laughs> into Saturday morning television, into producing weekly half-hour animated um, uh, product. And so it was a, 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 a different division. It would not be through the union and all the, all the things that Walt Disney Productions was set up to do. 
that is not through the animators union. So a lot of it was farmed out to, uh, uh, you know, to overseas. Yeah. And um, so they brought in uh, uh, a fellow from the advertising business. Uh, I don't know who was in charge, but auditions went on for three or four months. They did? Constantly. Yes. I didn't yes. Know I went to many, many auditions and I bumped into all kinds of people during <laughs> one audition. <laughs> Okay. I think maybe a callback. Yeah, and, and it was so messy. You'd get there, and there'd be all of these scripts, and and you were told, and it was not at Disney's. It would do, they would farm it out to different recording studios. You know what? They probably you had to, you in initially. Just pull out things you wanted to do. You know, characters you wanted to do. So you'd read. Okay, I'll try this one. I'll try this one. I'll try this one. And so, um, I and bet from, that was from two prior different shows at the audition. same. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure it was. And so it was. So I don't know how it happened. I, I, I have no idea. But gee, uh, one of the guys I auditioned with one time was, he was one of the MGM kids from the 1930s. Wow. And he grew up to become a director of the, the original Mickey Mouse Club with uh, Annette Finicello and Johnny Crawford and, and, and all those people. And, and uh, I had met him at the 25th anniversary re reunion of the Mouseketeers when they were doing a special. And we were publicizing a Going Quackers album uh, that Disneyland Records was releasing. And, um, and here he was auditioning for uh, any character. And he would have been great. He was a talented guy. And I'm trying to think of his name now. I can't think of it. Cubby? Uh, no, this is the MGM kid. Oh. Um, he usually played the songwriter uh, in, uh, in MGM things. A friend of Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland and those things. Yeah. But uh, I thought, wow, why don't they just give it to him? Why, why does he have to audition for this? I remember I picked up a, a sheet once and it had notes on it. And I recognized, oh, these are Paul Winchell's notes. How funny. <laughs> wow. No, I, I don't know at what stage, because I think I auditioned at a studio. But Jim, Megan, who was like put in charge of this by Michael Eisner, I asked him, how did I? He goes, well, I, we had, we'd never done cartoons. And I watched cartoons. And I was just looking to see whose names were in the credits. And I called them in to audition. Hmm. So hmm. I was lucky because I happened to be working on something else at the time. And Jim was put in charge by Gary Kreisel, who was put in charge by Michael Eisner. Oh, OK. Is, is how, how that worked. Chain of yeah. command. Yeah. yeah. He was put in charge of Roy Disney. He was put in charge of his fancy <laughs> stuff to Roy Disney. Uh, I think I don't know. <laughs> for a while and then he thought let's get rid of this guy now and he got rid of him. yeah so um, does that answer our question how was it it was wonderful it was great and will and i said oh yeah when did that start when did when would when was gummy bears first on the air 85 85, 85. 85. so back in 85 or 84 probably. yeah except, except each other 85. we were in the same room mm -hmm. And we said, someday we're going to talk about this. And yes. here we are. Yeah, and uh, as I remember it, it was a day that there was a, a television crew there interviewing all of us, but focusing on June and Bill. Yeah, because they were two famous. That they knew. They didn't know really Lorenzo. Don't need to find understand that. Lorenzo's position in showbiz. Uh, they probably didn't remember or recognize Paul, I, I think, I, or maybe Paul wasn't there at that. Well, they were point. probably just excited because Rocky and Bullwinkle, right? Uh, yes, I think so. And, and, and I said, you know, that's going to be us in the future, you know, and, um, and it, someday it will be. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> but, but um, we were enamored. Yeah. Enamored? And, and, and I thought, you know, they're, do, they're interviewing all of us, but I think they're just going to use Bill and June's stuff. And uh, oh, and you know who the the host was, the 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 person on camera. Mm -mm. Her last name was Siegel, and I and I can't remember her first name, but she turned out to be the uh, the daughter of Jerry Siegel. So her family was from Cleveland. My family was from Cleveland, wow. and my mom went to school with Jerry Siegel, and he invented he co-invented Superman. He was the writer of Superman. Oh, Siegel and oh. yeah, Siegel and Schuster. Yeah, yeah. that's so cool. Yeah, so she was on camera at that time. Small, well, we, we say in the States, small world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I say it here as well. We, I, we You do? Say. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a smaller world. It's an even smaller And world. guess who I, I was on a Zoom call with two weeks ago? Uh, Dick Sherman. So it's an even smaller world. Wow. And he and his brother talked about that song about it being a small world after all. Wow. I've never been to Disneyland. Sadly, no. Never been out of the UK. Well, it kind of goes like this. 
No. Nope. I knew he wouldn't let me. Right, I'm trying to get to America. I'll Somewhere. tell you. I'll shut you down. All right. What's next? Uh, I'd like to talk about Dumbo Circus, if that's all right. Dumbo well, Circus. I think, is that, are we allowed to talk right. about that? Sure. Okay. Or is it, or NDAs? <laughs> no. <laughs> right. We didn't even have those. No, that's Should ridiculous. No, then. you do all these great Everything projects. Everything was just now, there. Now it's ridiculous. Yeah. You audition for something. Oh, but I, I had to sign why? an NDA. What? <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to break uh, whatever I sign. I'm not a, allowed to talk about that project or anything. But you know what the lines were? Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, great. I can't tell you who I was auditioning for okay. or what the project was. I don't but, know if you're supposed to say you know, the lines this is either. You know, this is absurd. But this is the reason, okay? Let me explain something to you. Explain? Yeah. Are you are you from Cuba? Let me explain something to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Well, the thing is, I don't think we had those indies so much back then, but now... Non-disclosure agreement, in with, case you're wondering. With okay. all electronic stuff, people know things in an instant. Mm -hmm. And if you say one word, the mm -hmm. whole world knows. Back in the day, we couldn't even get scripts unless they FedExed them to us or they were there at the studio. So I think that's why NDAs are more important these days, because word travels in a millisecond. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Zeely. 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 Zeely and Opal. Zeely. Not only Zeely, but Zeely and Opal. What's Zeely and Opal? Zeely and Opal, Pennsylvania. It's not too far from uh, uh, East Stroudsburg. Oh, Zeely and Opal. Yeah. Is it kind of like the same latitude as South Eagle Lift? Uh, no, no. It's on the planet Earth. Oh. But East Stroudsburg is where uh, Frank Frazetta uh, moved to. Speaking of Eagle Lift. The great painter. We have our book that we showed you. We did do a recording of it. And mm -hmm. we have the audio. And so the first half of the book, we have some great music, too. And spontaneous. It's kind of like spontaneous combustion. Oh, we just sort of spontaneously break out in song. <laughs> and uh, we had a and it's song. Hot, man. It's hot. We had a song about future names of planets. And Eagle Dip mm -hmm. was one of them. But then when we added the 58 pages, we did a video book. So that was a three camera setup with us reading the bonus chapters. And that's available on Vimeo On Demand. Did you know that? Patreons get to see it too, but people can just go on Vimeo because I don't know how it works with England. So, and I'm not sure who's hearing this, but if you go on Video Demand, they can see us do our video book, which with, also has more music cameras, than the book, right? It, it has more music than the book, but the book has more cartoons uh, than the uh, the vocal interpretation and the audio interpretation of course this is the video of the audio so there you go the video of the audio mm -hmm. what yes. does that mean um i don't know i don't speak latin oh, oh wait i do uh, but not too much <laughs> okay if that wasn't confusing enough next question <laughs> omnibus placket si senor <laughs> okay i was gonna say casey oh, Dumbo from amber Dumbo circus was your first for into the acting world. Um, was that the first was that the first place you met Will doing Ooh, the circus? My first foray? Yeah. Oh no, no, it wasn't. Was it not? At all. No, not at all. It was Jimmy's first series, Jim Cummings. Oh, Jim Cummings, sorry, You're getting confused. No, what, what I was, was your what was I your was first? You mixed up. Well, the very first thing I ever did animated was a guest appearance on Mork and Mindy cartoon at Hanna Barbera. And then, Do you remember the show? The name of the show? Mark, Mark and Mindy. Oh, oh, just, the animated Mark and yeah, Mindy. Yeah, animated Mark and Mindy. And then I got a role on a series called Pandemonium um, with some very famous people. And Jesse White. Jesse White, Cliff Norton, and Walker Edmiston, who ended up being on Adventures in Odyssey with us. And Dumbo Circus. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And Dumbo Circus. Right. So I was working with him. And that only lasted one season. And after that was Dungeons and Dragons, which I think I was recording about the same time we did Dumbo Circus. And mm. Muppet, uh, a lot of stuff at the same time. Or as we uh, say in Canada, about the same time. About the same time, yeah. And I have a wonderful behind the scenes story from Dungeons and Dragons, which obviously during during Edson, I'll stick it on the screen. It's just right here. Obviously, you guys can't see it at the moment, but um, yeah, I think I've shown it you, Katie. It's of all of you. It's black and white. You're in the middle, and then I think Peter Collins next to you, and then Frank's on the front row. Did I send it you? I think I did. 
I don't know. They might have come from me because I actually took a lot of those photos that are circulating now because I was the rare bird that brought a camera to the studio. We didn't have phones that took pictures and I would bring my camera and a lot of the pictures that are circulating and in books, I actually yeah. came from my camera. So that's kind of cool. I feel like the animation historian. Yeah, thank you, Katie. Of the 80s. Seriously. I've, yeah. And, and we'd, you know, you never know how things would come out because it wasn't like comedy six. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, uh huh. Yep. There's you in the middle next to a few. Yeah. Lady. That might have been a picture they, they brought someone from CBS to take a picture of. Yeah. Most likely. Think. But um, I do have that. Oh, but I have it. So. You have a color one. No. Yeah. No, no I think it's just black and white. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, but what was I saying about that? Oh, yeah. So Will and I, we used to travel. We've been many places together. And I'd bring the camera and he'd order me to take pictures. And I have to take like 20 because he never knew if it would come out right. You know what? I just found. Look what I found. Speaking, you want to know what it looks like? Wow. Here's a roll of film that has never been developed. Wow. I'm not sure where it came from. Oh, what's boy. on it? Is there a date? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna yeah. have to take. I just guess is in the comments it. below. Unless what's on the don't film? Pull it out. Don't pull it out. No, but do you think it's like fresh and needs to be? Uh, I don't know. I, I would do is any? I don't know if there's anyone's check. But those watching at home, comment down below what you think is on the video reel, is and that, I. Will so I just it. found this uh, in the other room. So what I what was I saying about photos? <laughs> Dungeons whoa, and Dragons whoa. got it. So okay. the um so um you aren't going around and, and looking at at um at um uh little rides that you put a dime into i mean that you put a coin into yes. at, you're still doing that right i hope or when the pandemic is over you'll still be doing that when the pandemic is over yes but the helicopter ride i did a voiceover for the company who made it has sadly gone bankrupt no really yeah, oh, you were doing a voice for it yeah, you can't really see it here, but there's just a tiny photo of me. It's with that hel a helicopter ride I did a voiceover for just oh. before the pandemic began. Oh, that's that's so fun. That's so cool. I know what I was going to tell you. It just released this morning and today. I don't know if I should say the date. I guess it doesn't matter because it'll be out there. There's a group called Playing Games with Strangers and they invited me to play Dungeons and Dragons with them. And I've never. Oh, I think I saw something about that. Yeah, so uh, you can watch me. Yeah. Is this play. the one that's uh, from England? Or what are we doing today also in England? Oh, something. Well, oh yeah, the script thing. I remember you told me over the email. You had to push it back half an hour. Watching it, that's all. Maybe. Hmm. If we can. But I, I'll tell you, the, the interesting thing is during this pandemic, the, things slowed down quite a bit in Hollywood, you know? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so we started working on this Tell You Later show. And, and then as part of it, because we have uh, Patreon supporting it at uh, patreon.com slash tell y'all later and y'all is spelled Y-A. The usual way. The usual way. And uh, so we, we're, we're doing other shows now. So we're doing tell you later and we're doing- Welcome uh, to later. Welcome to later, which has two characters who uh, seem to be taking- Quasi We were supposed to be the host of the show, but, but now they've taken over that show. Yes. And, and we've got you, another we show. Tell their called, names? Oh yes, it's um, as I recall. Uh, how does he talk? He, he, something like a blasphemy tall smile, and um, Esquire, right? The Squire. Yes, Esquire. and Ganilla. Uh, five H's. Fifth H is silent. Yes. Right. Oh, I'm so, so, so cool. They're, they're hosting that show, and evidently, I mean, we were hosting it, but they they taken over that one. We do one called Adventures in Popcorn. Which is hard to describe, but it does involve popcorn. Yeah, we and, we have a we we like popcorn. So yeah. it actually probably when we get done with you, I'm gonna have to go in and make some popcorn for us to eat because. And and then uh, another one called Words on Words, and and uh, Phil. Word Aller. of the day. <laughs> we did. We have a yeah. Theme well, song. that's one of the sec. Yes, we do. We do. Well, it's we're doing not all kinds of other shows apart from tell you later which is the main and it's show. not because we're bored with tell you later we're just very creative <laughs> right. yeah you're expanding your audience yes as I would say. or expanding our, our waistline with the popcorn yeah definitely. anyway <laughs> <laughs> but that's what well, happens how do you pandemic. like your popcorn amber yeah. um either sweets or toffee 
I usually buy store bought toffee popcorn. So yeah. nice. Is that caramel corn? So is that yeah, caramel, caramel corn. When you go yeah. to the cinema, you get yeah. uh, popcorn Sweet. with just sugar or with sugar and salt. Uh, I get it with just sugar. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Brush your teeth afterwards, though. <laughs> Which what? I brush my teeth afterwards, though. So oh, right. good. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar. I'm not much of a sweet tooth Do anymore. Do you make popcorn at home? No, we just we just get store. We just get some from the shop. Store bought. Okay. Pre made. But if you watch our show, you will learn how to make it. Various different ways too. Lots Is of that? Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't just like put it in a pan and then wait for the kernels to pop? Well, well one could do it that. Yes, way. Yes, we do it that way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> we also have an air popper and yet to be done i was going to show will how to make his own microwave popcorn mm -hmm. wow. and, and in a course, bag in the microwave and katie's way with a wok which is great have a an w -O -K. electric walk w-o-k cleveland ohio yes thank you very much you're welcome k-w-o-k i think i remember me, my brother making it with a bag when i was younger and i brother since when do you have a brother? I, oh, have, brother. I have two brothers. I this is a revelation. Two brothers? Holy cow. And then the, the microphone public, the right near the exploded. So, that's quite fun. Yeah, I have an older brother, younger brother, older sister. So, oh, yeah. okay. well, there's a lot of right. them. Yeah. A lot of yeah. them yeah. around. Yeah. 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 But my sister, she has her own um, child. She has a son who's nearly three. She has a very own child? Yeah. So you're an aunt. She has a son. <laughs> yeah, I'm an aunt. Wow. Yeah. Auntie Amber. Pretty tall for now. <laughs> That's a very small joke. I know. I know. I specialize in tiny jokes. Dad yeah. jokes. Dad jokes. Love them. Love them. Bad jokes. small jokes. Bad small jokes. Bad small jokes. Bad specialty. Bad joke. Bad while you joke. wait. <laughs> while you wait. Bad small jokes. Tell you later while you wait. We need a little boat booth. We can go sit out on the sidewalk. Bad small jokes. <laughs> Denzel. Give us a subject, we'll give you a joke. We'll do anything for support. We really, we we mm, we want yeah. to do so much more on our show. That's why we're hope we're happy to be here, be interviewed by you, and get the word out. Yes, and tell, answer your questions. Tell at you the later. Same time. Uh, yeah. what was, you go patreoncom slash tell you later, later, and it tells you all about. It tells it. you everything. But you know, so you, I'm confused. We're still working on. Lots of other stuff for other He's people. He's still working at Disney. What? Yeah, oh, yeah you're doing Willy the Giant still. still. Going on. Yeah, I don't know. If, since I've seen you, uh, there's a show called Mickey Mouse movie? Funhouse. Funhouse. I don't know. If, I don't think it's out yet. Is it? Yeah, I was going to say, have you heard anything about that? Because I haven't been able to find out anything about that. Because those at home, been, Will, is really saying giant. that it was going to be coming up. Is there a theme so that's song? how I can talk about it? Is there a theme song? I. Uh, they have a staff composer. Oh, so but, you don't uh, you don't sing it? No. I don't. I probably mm. songs, right? I'm we should have gotten you to play guitar. You can it. sing. You can hum the theme song to "Tales of Texas Rangers," mm. which was an American. We can end this with a song. <laughs> I don't know the words. Oh. I'm just hey, oh, Kate, Katie, Katie's becoming a musician on the show too. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. She'll hit some notes and they'll all be right in, in pitch. That's so cool. Something so, like that. That's just that's a so cool. I love you. You know that's and that, she doesn't even know what she's doing. You know that, yeah. I that's nuts. That's just because he happened. That's because I don't know. Yes, yeah. we have these. He gives me control of the chime mallet. Right. I got these from NBC, but uh, there are four notes on there. And so here's the uh, the theme for Tell You Later. We don't know what the lyrics are, but this is the theme. Whoops. Sorry. Isn't that's, that catchy? That's our little theme. <laughs> I like that it. That starts off the show nowadays. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. We're just, just a little wacky. Now, the microphone wasn't really close to that. But... <laughs> <Wacky. laughs> Walker Edmiston could do that without using his finger. Really? Yeah. I think Alan Oppenheimer did it for um, one of his Transformer voice. Sea spray. Yeah, he, you talk like that. Who did that? Alan Oppenheimer. Oh, Alan. yeah. yeah. Um, Transformers. He did his character called Sea spray. And he talked a little bit Our voiceover secret. How to sound like you're talking underwater. Exactly. I think I'll use that for the future. 
in fact I you just know, had you know how you want to know how you sound like you're you're shivering like in scooby-doo yeah Ooh, okay, that's a good. That is a good. One. That is a good one. There you go. That is a good one. That's, you just in case there isn't a sound effects guy. Yeah, I need to come to a voiceover class, Katie. <laughs> come on, you know yeah. I do workshops. Oh, I'm trying. I know, but I'm trying. I'm trying to save money because I'm meeting Frank at Frank Welker and Peter Cullen in Scotland this October, and I just want to save up enough to get train Scotland oh. hotel costs. What, what are they doing in Scotland? They're go- they're doing a comic con in Scotland. Really? You see, yeah. that's why he's too busy to answer the email. That's well, he said to me on Galaxy One, if protocols allow, he will be over. I'm like, please do. I need to take you out to a formal business dinner to celebrate the completion of the Bill Scott documentary. So, I just want that yeah. to happen. That's so, so cool. Now, you could walk to Scotland from your house, right? No, it's about four hours away from me. Oh, you could walk to Wales from your house. Yes, actually, I'm going there on holiday this month. I'm going to the long town name. Great. Oh, that's great. What does that mean? It's in Anglesey. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a, a really long town name. It's in what? what is, it's it's in, in Anglesey. Anglesey. Is that the language they speak in Wales? No, it's, it, they speak Welsh in Wales, but there is a district in Wales called Anglesey. It's a little island um, in North Wales, and we're going to this beautiful little lakeside lodge. It's beautiful. It's next to this lake, and it's got its own jetty, and it's like a lodge. It's got like a, a wood burner, hot tub, and just it's just beautiful from the photos I've seen. So you're going to oh. spend the week there. Just you send me a postcard? Sure, will do. Great, great. Could you say the, the name again? Extra long. Say the name again. I'm by up with Gwingif. Go get a control card. Silly go go go. Go go go. Go go. Call it Lanfair PG for short. <laughs> you call it what? Um, Lanfair PG. Lanfair PG. <laughs> right yeah. PG. Wow. I said your postcard of the the, the 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 sign at the railway station. Yeah, it's really that. long. That's well, great. We've been we've been watching the Crown, so uh, the yeah. series. You have. Yeah. Oh. So the royal. I'm league. learning English. <laughs> Spoiler: <laughs> This is what the train station sign looks like. It's that long. You can't really see it, but it says the Crown. That's, the whole great. That's well, great. Somebody got paid by the letter, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh, um, I've just well, we, we live not too far away from a place called Zizix. Zizix. Z Z Y Z X X or something like that. Y Z Z X. Y. Yeah. Zizix. There's a Zizix in oh, California. Right. Look it up. Yeah, I will do. Probably is um Los Angeles equivalent to so Hanover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't remember. No, she died to say again. Know, I don't think <laughs> not equivalent. No, I'm, I'm sure yours is more um, interesting. It's probably, a castle. Probably even has a house. It's not a castle. It's a place. Place. It's, it's place. an actual place. Humber. And it's is that and it's in Welsh. It's in Wales. <laughs> a place North called Wales. Wales. <laughs> it's a place called. Wales. I mean, the name is <laughs> the road sign Welsh. just says Welsh on it. <laughs> Welcome to Welsh. Please drive carefully. <laughs> My dad used to make Welsh rarebit. Oh, oh yeah, really? I used to eat wow. Welsh rabbit. Yeah, and then I would go to sleep and I would have dreams, dreams of a are... rabbit feed. Oh, rabbit. By Winsor McKay. Oh, oh Winsor McKay. Z Z Y Z X. Yes. That's our crew of one has just showed us. I don't know. You can't <laughs> doesn't, see it. Doesn't believe but... it. So I'll look it up later. That's Z Y Z X, and it's out in the desert actually. So that's why. Your place would be much more interesting. Yes, where letters are very limited, so they could only use three. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, it's, it's nowhere. <laughs> it's nowhere. Yeah, of course. Okay, so you two have played such iconic roles in um in animation. Obviously on separate shows, like obviously Will, you voiced Footloose and G.I. Joe. Katie, you voiced like Zuzu and Poppycat. Zuzu and Poppycat. What is your favorite role that you've both done but like on separate shows what's the most favorite role you've done i know it's like picking your favorite child but you know do you have a particularly favorite role that you've done well on radio definitely it could be radio Bonnie be radio. kendall on adventures and odyssey is a favorite so doing it almost 34 years wow. but I, gotta say, you- I really like being rolf the dog's voice on the original muppet babies hmm. yes and we should explain to people in england and elsewhere that uh, the archers is a long-running show that with which uh, they're probably you're probably familiar, 
our show has only been on for 34 years. So we've got quite a ways to go, but I would love to do a crossover episode where if we're in, in the other country, we, we, we yeah. get written into one episode or something or somebody from that but shows over the, here. From what I understand now, the Archers is like a serial, right? Like yeah, it's one, five days a week now, I think. Right. right. Yeah. And yeah. Odyssey isn't as long, but I think we're the longest running called anthology. In the United States. Anthology, where it's, they're we're, not all connected. We're but, the longest running dramatic radio show in, in the history of the United States. Oh, but not... You know? Longer uh, or, or really. even even if it's not dramatic, because um, um, sometimes we, we're we've funny. Got, you know, sh shows that are famous here, radio shows, or the Jack Benny show, or uh, Burns and Allen show, and so on. But we've run longer than they have by many years now. It's it's kind of amazing in this country. But again, compared to the Archers, not as long. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's your favorite? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I, I suppose Eugene is good. Uh, it was fun doing uh, Tigger for all those years. Tigger yeah. for 17 years yeah. he was Tigger. Yeah. And, and uh, Elmo really? Ardbark is always fun to do. And um, I don't know, it was fun being uh, 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 Petrie in Land Be the original Land Before Time, the George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, Don Bluth uh, oh, motion yeah. picture. Oh, we haven't thought you did Tigger and Welcome to Pooh Corner. I completely forgot. I was like, Tigger for 17? Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> Welcome to Pooh Corner. The one Many episodes of that. Yeah. Oh, and right? other stuff too. Yeah, and toys. And I mean, Teddy Ruxpin as well, both of you. Oh, yeah, we worked on that together. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Somebody wants us to say something. What? Welcome to the world of overachievers. You've, we've uploaded 50 pieces of media. Oh, oh, this just in. Tell You Later has uploaded 50 pieces of media on Vimeo for our Tell You Later patrons. And oh, it says, it's clear, you know life's true meaning. The more you upload, the better it gets. <laughs> Happy 50th up upload. Can we sing a song? Happy 50th <laughs> This upload. could be the goodbye song. <laughs> Happy 50th <laughs> upload. Happy 50th, 50th upload. upload to you and you and you. <laughs> and me. And me. <laughs> and you. Upload. It's now, hard to rhyme say, with upload, isn't it? A-T-F-G. Is that how you say it? Or is it? Amber the Fangirl. Yeah. A I just say A-T-F. I just find it all easier. Oh, like oh, fangirl, fangirl is one, one word? Suddenly, all of a sudden. What? Like yeah, popcorn I, I is one just, word all of a sudden? A-T-F. Like, I don't think it's not much one word. Word. It's it's time for now. A-T-F. <laughs> I, I, I just call it I just call it one word. I just thought it was just a lot more easier, to be fair. Well, it probably is. Yeah, because my logo's already been done. I can't be bothered to make a new one because I'm not a good drawer. So <laughs> I think it's fine. Hmm. I think it's I totally think accurate. Can you draw a dresser? You'd be a dresser drawer. I could if I if I wanted to. Does that translate into English? I don't know because it's probably a bureau. A, what a do you call where you keep is, your clothes? Is that a dresser? Wardrobe. Wardrobe. Oh, okay, that this is my wardrobe right yeah. behind me. I display everything on it. You know what I say, carry on Amber. Yes, like the carry on films. I was going to ask if you wanted to plug anything, but you already plugged Tell You Later. So if there's anything else you want to plug. Well, right I, I just want to say that if we uh, downloaded 50 things. Uploaded, uploaded. Then that's only 15 or 16 episodes of the main show. And all those Plus other, all the extras. All those other things are extras, the, which the is Patreons pretty amazing. Get, yeah. 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 So, it's kind of fun. We have special guests on the show. And in fact, we should have Amber on the show sometime. Maybe we will. Maybe when I finish the documentary, I'll give a report on that town. Yes, because we've recorded this, right? So we have a recording, and then maybe we could give a little, you could report to us from Yeah, I could. That'd be fun. Yes, oh, that would be great. It sounds like a town underwater to me. And there's a song called Super Cala. Fragilistic espialidocious. Right. No, no, it's it's similar, but it, it was oh. before that one. Super color fragilistic espialidocious. And I'll I, I might I might perform that song because remember the Schumer brothers always point out it was based on a, a song that they knew as as uh, camp or as kids or something. Hmm. Yeah. 
So, but I, 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 found I know a lot song. of camp songs, but Will doesn't let me sing anything because he's afraid. No, you can sing camp songs as long as I they're can? PD. Yeah. I wish yeah. I was a Honda Serious roof from a Ha ha ha. <laughs> Only no one is like. Dun, 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 apple shake the tree. I don't know. I tried to have been around a campfire for ages, probably since like year seven. What camp, are you, which what are you singing? Sing it. What um. It? Do, do, I can't remember the full lyrics. It's like, do, 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 push by an apple, shake the tree. I can't, I can't remember what it exactly is. Oh, I, I, like buzz, I buzz and hit my head against a tree. Ha, ha, ha. Is it I think that might be it. I haven't sung it for about five, you five years. Scout? Were you a Girl Scout? No, this was just on my um that year seven camp. That would have been about oh. sixth grade. Something like that. Anyways, guys. Thank you, Will and Casey, for being on this interview. This is, this has been amazing talking to you two. You are two of the most fabulous people I know. And like, obviously, you've known each other for so long. And obviously, your podcast, Tell You Later, is just absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to hear more from it. Anyways, thank guys, you. thank you so much for Travis. watching this. You're Bye. welcome. Uh, so yes, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also go check out Tell You Later because it's such a great series. I watch it when I do homework at home, and seriously, it chills me out. Like, and yes, I'm a student. <laughs> oh, I'm nearly eighteen, so yeah, I guess just like that. So yes, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another episode of In Conversation with ATF. Bye and cut. Oh.